Hello everyone, it's week three of the Masterboard Prompt in the Facebook group, the Mixed Media Emporium, and the challenge for this week is to create a collage masterboard. Of course, in week one, we did painted masterboards. Um, this time, we're doing collage-style masterboards. Now, you can do this in any style you like. If you want to do it in a vintage um, theme, that's absolutely fine. Do it in any style you like. I've gone for more pretty contemporary colours here, as you can see. Um, just because I want it to um, match the junk journal that I'm currently working on. This is the junk journal that we created in January um, so I want all the colours to tone with this. Now I've got mainly um, teals and pinks and peaches and those kind of colours in my journal um, and that's what's inspired um, the, the pieces that I've pulled out here. Um, I started off with the scraps of wallpaper that were left over from the cover that um, I made. Um, you know, they've got lots of creases here because, of course, you know, this is used gift wrap. That's fine. It doesn't matter. I mean, you probably won't be able to see it by the time they're glued down. And even if you can, it really doesn't matter. So I started off with these as my base. And then I've pulled out all the other bits and pieces here to coordinate with this. So that's my advice. If, you know, you want somewhere to start, start with your bolder colours first and then, you know, try and pull out pieces that um, coordinate and match. So of course in this I've got various pinks, reds, um, peachy, orangey colours, lots of gold as well and this gorgeous um, duck egg blue. Um, so I've got here a couple of um, jelly prints. Um, I think these tone really well. Um, we've got the positive and the negative pull here. I also pulled out some um, black and white bits and pieces. These are bits and pieces left over from um, an envelope. I used this for a collage in the junk journal a couple of weeks ago. Um, I've also got um, another black and white piece um, here as well. This was just stripes um, drawn with a sharpie marker on a piece of white paper and cut out. I always think that those add some um, neutrality to a piece. And then of course I've got my blues and um, teals here as well. So again just more scraps left over from collages that um, I've used for the junk journal. And another jelly print, um, a piece of um, vintage computer paper here. I really like that and then various scraps of um, wallpaper I've tried to pull out some of the gold that's in this um, gorgeous um, gift wrap here um, so I've got some gold wallpaper that I've been using recently and then various teals here um, you'll see all of these pieces of wallpaper in a project that I'll be sharing next week as well so these are just the off cuts and scraps that um, I'd got left so what I'm going to do now um, is cut these into smaller pieces. I'm going to be working on an A4 sheet of cardstock. This is just 300 GSM regular cardstock. So that's what I'm going to use as my base. You could use a cereal box. It really, really doesn't matter. Um, and I'm going to cut these down into smaller pieces because these are just too overwhelming and big at the moment. So, you know, as soon as I've done that, I'll be straight back. You can see I've been playing around with the bits and pieces of collage elements that um, I cut out. And I'm trying to make it flow so that your eye follows um, all the bits and pieces around the page. I'm trying to do things in twos and threes. There are a couple of um, things I'd like to add. For instance, we've only got one piece of the striped paper over here. So I might um, want to add just a tiny bit more, just a touch of it um, down here um, like this. And so I'm just going to keep playing. I also feel um, that I've got the um, gorgeous deep peach over here. This one is a bit too pale. I might want to um, take that one out and replace it with um, this one here. And as soon as I'm happy with my composition, what I'll do is I will take um, a photocopy of it and then I'll just glue everything down with um, a glue stick.
I just kept adding more and more and more to my collage masterboard and this is um, how it's looking right now. Now of course I did have some um, gold wallpaper in the background and I've covered it all up for the reason being that um, I took it off to the photocopier and the gold has come out this horrible yucky um, brown. Um, of course it might look completely different um, when I take it to the professional photocopiers that was just done on my home printer but I didn't want to risk it so I've covered um, all of the gold up so this is what I've got so far. I just love how bright it is, whimsical, I really like this. Now last year during the very first lockdown I started playing with the Dina Wakeley um, Media Collage Collective. Um, I bought this probably oh when it first came out a couple of years ago and I just couldn't bear to use it because the pages are just so gorgeous. Well I started cutting up some of the pages as I've said during the um, first lockdown and just making mini collages no rhyme or reason just because and I just absolutely love these let me just move that out of the way and I'll show you what they look like let's get rid of that um, as well so I had um, piles of my vintage scraps um, you know ledger papers black and white papers all kinds of things and just started uh, making these which I just think um, are really fun and I'll show you how I did it um, for anybody who's got one of these and wants to give um, something similar um, a try I would just pull out a piece of book paper or ledger paper and just layer um, oh I don't know how did I have that there a second ago and I've got some of her tissue paper as well so I would just layer layer these up until I got um, a little mini composition um, that I was happy with um, like that and that's how um, I made them so there you go sort of just that kind of thing in fact I quite like that so I might end up gluing that one together as well there we are I've just uh, really quickly just um, glued that one together but I just thought it might be quite nice to have some of these um, on my background um, I think I want to have some of the more colorful ones let's have a look and see how I could um, possibly lay lay these out and I'm just going to take my time do I want to use that one I made um, a second ago I quite like that um, or do I like, do I like that one there? I had had um, a play around with this earlier and ended up with a composition that um, I did actually quite, um, quite like. And of course now I can't remember how I, how I had it. Um, I think I quite like that there. I think I had the smaller one earlier. But I think this is what um, I'm going to do. And I think although it looks really busy right now in one large piece, I think once it's cut down, I think those will be really fun um, to use. I've decided on this comp um, composition, but what I have done is I've scanned my background um, before um, I glue these down, just so that, you know, if I want to do another masterboard with a completely different style, I can do. So I'm just going to um, stick these down with a glue stick. I want to show you what else you can do with these um, wacky type backgrounds. You could probably do it with any type of uh, background. There is an app um, that you can certainly download on, on Apple. I don't know about um, Android called Kaleidocam. I'll leave it um, on screen. Um, Robert Hartley in the Facebook group told me about it and it's absolutely great fun. So I scanned um, my masterboard into my phone and put it through Kaleidocam and just look. In fact, it's better if I show you this way. Um, so just from that one masterboard, I've got all these different um, patterns. This just looks like a patchwork quilt to me. How much fun um, is that? So I hope you've enjoyed seeing me put my wild and wacky masterboard um, together. I've got no idea what I'm going to do with it, but I will be taking it off to the printers next week. I was asked the question a couple of days ago, um, how much it costs to get them professionally printed. Um, it's, I think, for A4 size, I think it's a pound for a double-sided um, sheet. It's very, very reasonable. It's not expensive um, at all. Of course, if you have them done in A3 size, um, it's more expensive. Um, they just charge you for the, the normal print price if you take mixed media paper um, along with you as well. So so there we go. And I will find out um, what type of paper they use because I've had a, a couple of questions regarding that as well. But if you've enjoyed today's video, as always, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. Do let me know what you think in the comments below. And I look forward to seeing everybody's collage masterboards, uh, masterboard ideas in the Facebook group next week. Um, if anybody is interested in following along with this challenge, I'll leave 
leave the link to the Facebook group, the Mixed Media Emporium, in the description box below. Just please be aware that we are a prompt-related group. So, you know, if, it, if you're posting stuff that is not related to our prompts, it, it does get deleted. But thanks for watching. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.